we are going to see how to make this beautiful expansion tile and changing the color of the sticky up there when we open the tile or close it hello guys today i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful custom info card it has an image and expansion tile and it is scrollable and you can use it like whatever you want and you can add instead of this text what widget you want okay let's go here we have a normal symbol of the project first we are going to make my home page too Let's have a simple stateless class. We go now to use a scaffold and give it a body. The body here is going to have the info card. Now let's build the info card first. It's gonna to be a stateless info card and it's containing a card actually. The card is actually going to have a child that we are gonna to pass it later. So find a widget or child, gonna to import it uh, or add it in the constructor. Uh, of course it's final so we can use const here. Here we are gonna to give the code a shape to make it round, give it 25 circular for the radius and of course we are gonna to give it color black too to make this beautiful round border and then we are gonna to use the info card here in the info card we are gonna to pass a child the child is going to be single child scroll view this is gonna to contain a column we are using a column and single child scroll view because the code is going to have a lot of data you can add whatever you want in this column we are gonna to add an image and expansion tile i'm gonna to add first an image first we are gonna to pass the children we are gonna to use an image let's see what we have now here we have an image and you can see the border here so we want to clip the containing of that card here the child we are gonna to wrap it with clip our right and we are gonna to give it border radius and rerun and we have this nice cut let's wrap this scaffold with the safe area okay let's give it a padding we are gonna to give it a symmetric padding on a vertical it's gonna to be maybe 50 here simply we are gonna to give it a circle okay that's nice but that's what we don't want we are gonna to give the padding for the info card and put this here rerun okay now we are gonna to add something he blows this image we are going to add expansion card we are going to make function called extension file return extension tile and expansion tile required a title and of course we can give it a children's in children's of the extension tile we can add any widget we want it's like a colon i'm going to add this x and run oh we have to use it here using this function to get expansion tile and now you can see we have a scribble view i know it's it's ugly right now so we are going to give it a padding for the text inside here we're gonna to give it padding here all side maybe 12. hey that's pretty good seems like missing something oh yeah can give this code an elevation like four elevation so seven will do the job okay this is what how to make this beautiful card you can add images we can add text and we refresh we can add something here and we can grab it with a container and give it a container like color and maybe we are going to align it and center so align and center okay now we're gonna to change this color when we are going to press our expansion tile we are going to add here a napoleon equal to fold and we are going to tell him if this is true we are going to use a green if not white this is a boolean is expanded or not okay and depending on this we are going to change the color of the available for work or not okay, and here in expansion file we are going to use on expansion change it's taken a function trigger a boolean is expanded or not and we are gonna to use this here equal to this value of course nothing is going to happen right now because we don't use it in a state set state we have to put it in set state and we run the code now when we tap on this it changes the color as you see it's available for work no not available for work it could be useful for anyone okay that's it thank you for watching and if you learn anything in this video please give a thumbs up for me it's it mean a lot for me and see you later bye